The British may be sharply divided into leavers and remainers, but about one thing they're in full agreement. We need more of a certain Italian product. What's that then? Stay tuned and you'll find out. Coming right up. Hi guys, welcome to yet another edition of Big on Wine, the show which, uh, as you should know by now, brings you news, clues and reviews. Indeed, keeps you up to speed with just about everything in the world of wine. And that product which the British just can't get enough of is, of course, Prosecco. And my wine of the week for this week is another, none other than this one here. It's Mionetto Prosecco Brut and it comes in for a price where I am of around 11 euro a bottle. Okay, let's uh, bring you some of the backstory regarding Prosecco, but first let's pour a nice measure into the glass. There we go, okay. Yes, Prosecco has been a big hit, of course, for many, many years all over the world, and uh, especially in the United Kingdom. It has that kind of zingy, useful bubbliness and it comes in for a decent price, of course. All right, Prosecco is from the north of Italy. That's where it's produced, just about where the Italian plain meets the mountains. So we're talking about an area to the north of Venice, about 80 kilometers or a an hour's drive or so north of Venice in the uh, Treviso area of Italy. Um, and this one here is produced by a family company called Mionetto. Now their business dates back to 1887, so they've got well over a, a hundred years of history of producing sparkling wine. Uh, and they became a, a part of the uh, German Henkel Group uh, about 10 years ago, back in 2008. Okay. Now, Prosecco is produced, um, as I say, to the north of Venice. It's produced predominantly from the Glera grape, which is originally of Slovenian origin. And this uh, one here, this wine is uh, quite standard. It's around about 11% in terms of alcohol and about 10 grams uh, per litre of residual sugar. Now, if this was simply a white wine, it would be on the border between dry and off dry. But this goes under the under the sparkling wine title of Brut. So 10 grams per litre in this. All right, Prosecco can in fact come in three different forms. It can come in spumante, frizzante and tranquillo forms. The spumante is of course the bubbly, frizzante has got a few bubbles in it and the tranquillo is a still wine. But of course we're dealing here with Prosecco spumante here. Now, Prosecco is made usually using uh, a cheaper method than the method used to produce uh, sh uh, champagne or cava. It's called the Charmat Martinotti method. And the secondary fermentation, when the white wine is turned into bubbly, this happens, generally speaking, in stainless steel tanks. It makes the process cheaper, of course, and there's no fermentation in the bottle. Ergo, this is a wine to be enjoyed when it's young and uh, particularly with friends and why not out in the summer sunshine there. All right, let's take a look at the wine. Enough said about the backstory. It has a pale straw gold color. It doesn't have a huge number of bubbles in it, but the bubbles are clearly visible there. Um, straw gold in colour. Let's see what the, the nose on this um, Prosecco tells us. Yeah, very pleasant, pleasant nose to this wine. Um, what are we going to, what are we going to classify that as? I would say, there seems to be a mix of stuff here, a mix of different fruit. I would say a little bit of, a little bit of pear in the nose, very pleasant, and something maybe a bit cooler and more perhaps unique, e edging towards melon or something like that. Honeydew melon, perhaps a touch of that in the nose and a good dose of apple there. So apple, melon and some pear in the nose of this Prosecco. Okay, let's try it in the mouth and see, see what we find there. First impressions in the mouth, 
um, a nice acidic bite to this wine. Citrusy, very pleasant, very fresh, very mouth-watering in the mouth. The bubbles actually seem to come through more in the palate than they do optically in the glass there. Um, nice citrusy bite, but at the same time there's a softness to it. Um, and in the back of the mouth there's actually quite a nice dose of minerality there. Um, it's dry, it's refreshing, it's mouth-watering, uh, it's satisfying due to that good citrus, citrus bite to it. Um, not too, not too heavy on the citrus bite though. This is a relatively soft, softish, fruityish prosecco. This one here. And the finish on the wine is quite long for a, for a prosecco wine, and you're left in the mouth with a very clean, citrusy. With that minerality coming through, which is unusual and I think is a good feature in this wine. And of course, the apple and the pear are still there mingling nicely. All right. Now, what is this going to be good with? Well, this is going to be good with summer. And I'm being serious here, right? Everything light and summery. Yeah. Ideal with your salads, your fish, your seafood. This is the ultimate picnic wine I think here something you can enjoy out in the open with friends perfect picnic wine provided you can keep it cold now that's the key six to eight degrees is the serving temperature let's bring you the heads up on this one this is a major Italian export product Prosecco from just north of uh, Venice cheap and cheerful but does its job extremely well around 11 euro a bottle Mionetto Prosecco Brut, three stars out of five. Okay, wine lovers, many, many thanks for uh, tuning in and taking a look at this little introduction to a classic Prosecco there, Mionetto Prosecco, from uh, northern Italy, just north of Venice, of course. All right, if you've enjoyed what you've seen and heard, then please do feel free to give us the big thumbs up, which we appreciate so much. Drop a comment below, down below. We're always extremely grateful to receive those comments. Follow me on my other social media platforms, share the video around. And of course, if you haven't done so already, please do subscribe by hitting that big red button somewhere up there behind me. And naturally, I'll be back again next week with another great Wine of the Week for you. But until we meet again, this is Tony Melville signing off and saying, hey, take care out there. Be good to each other. Enjoy your wines and cheers.